Right now, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can get the iPhone 15 wallpapers on any older device, which includes iPhone 14, on basically any device that you have. The first thing is to get the wallpapers. And for that, I follow the link on the internet from this page. I'm not even affiliated with them or anything like that. It's not my own website, but there, if you scroll down through their page, you'll get to the list of all of the available iPhone 15 wallpapers. So if you just scroll down long enough, you will get to this section and here are iPhone 15 wallpapers. And if you scroll down a bit more, here are iPhone 15 Pro wallpapers. I will link this page down below in the description, but the whole process behind it is that you can just click on it, it just enlarges in the full format, and I'm just gonna hold down on it and save it to photos like that. Now, once I have it as a photo, I can just open up and view it inside of my photos section in my album, which is fine, it is right here. And I can set it up as a brand new home screen wallpaper or lock screen, whatever I want. For that, I recommend you to go to the settings and go to the wallpaper section. It's best to go through it this way. So find the wallpaper section there, click on it. Here are my wallpaper pairs. So here's the main one, here's the current one, and I can create a brand new one. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hit plus, and it just gives me some featured collections, the weather wallpapers, Unity, whatever I want, but I'm just gonna click on photos. When I click on photos, I can choose the latest one which I downloaded. This is the one, this is the iPhone 15 wallpaper, and I can add it to the home screen. You can sure scroll through it and add some effects, but black and white doesn't look nearly as good as the original, so I'm just gonna click on add. And now it asks me what I wanna do with the home screen. So when I set up the wallpaper pair, the home screen is gonna look exactly the same, with only with a blurred background. So I can go ahead and go with that if I want or click on customize home screen. When I click on that, I can unblur it with a blur button like this. It's gonna look exactly the same without the blur. Or you can just add some different photo to the home screen if you like, or you can add a color or a gradient, whatever you want. So you can customize it separately, although it's a wallpaper pair, but you can set, set it up differently for the lock screen as well as the home screen. So it's up to you to decide, but mostly for the lock screen, this is what it's supposed to look like. So when I leave the app, the home screen is blurry, or the lock screen looks like that. So it looks nice. I have the iPhone 15 wallpaper. For the different wallpapers, just follow the same steps. Just get to the same page like this and download a different one or go to the pro wallpapers if you like. So yeah, the process is gonna be exactly the same. And this is how you can get iPhone 15 wallpaper on iPhone 14. So hope you found this video useful. If you did, leave a thumbs up. But before you go, I need to show you the Foxtech educational platform. It's free to join. It's linked down below in the description. And the reason it exists is because basically nobody uses their iPhone fully to the full potential. So I created a couple of different courses. My intentions are to make sure that everyone uses their iPhone fully. So that's why I created this. You can join it for free. It's gonna be linked there. So I'm gonna wait for you. Thanks a lot for watching. See you guys later in the future.